I'm Dr. Caroline Novak, a physician at the VIP Medical Group. I work as a phlebologist, which is a physician who treats vein disease and varicose veins at the Spider Vein and Varicose Vein Treatment Center of New Jersey. Today I'm going to answer the question, what is radiofrequency for veins? The short answer to the question, what is radiofrequency ablation for veins, is that radiofrequency ablation is an excellent, minimally invasive treatment method to help eliminate spider veins and varicose veins and to reduce symptoms due to venous insufficiency. In order to explain why radiofrequency ablation works, I'll explain a little bit more about veins and vein disease. Spider veins and varicose veins are unhealthy veins that are visible on the surface of the skin. Both spider veins and varicose veins are often due to an underlying condition called venous insufficiency. In venous insufficiency, veins slightly deeper within the leg have become dysfunctional, leading to the formation of spider veins and varicose veins. I think of this like a leaky pipe within a wall, where the underlying veins are the leaky pipe, and the spider and varicose veins are the stains on the surface of a wall. Before you repaint the wall, you have to fix the leaky pipe. And this is where radiofrequency ablation comes in. In the past, surgeons would actually remove the underlying healthy veins. With endovenous ablation, however, vein doctors can seal the veins closed from the inside out, rerouting the blood flow to healthier veins. Endovenous ablation simply means destroying the vein from the inside out, but the exact mechanism of vein obliteration can be one of several different technologies. Laser ablation, Claravein, also known as mechanochemical ablation, and finally, radiofrequency ablation. But what exactly is radiofrequency ablation for veins? With radiofrequency ablation, your vein doctor numbs an area at the inside of the knee and makes a small incision to enter the vein. Once inside the vein, your vein doctor will thread a thin device, called a radiofrequency catheter, inside the vein to the groin. Your doctor surrounds the vein with fluid to numb and cool the vein, protecting surrounding tissue. Then your doctor activates the catheter to deliver heat energy to the walls of the vein. This causes inflammation along the vein walls and the vein is sealed closed, rerouting blood flow to healthier veins within the leg. The closed vein is eventually resorbed by the body. The entire procedure takes between 15 and 45 minutes. Radiofrequency for veins does not require general anesthesia and does not require any downtime. Our patients often return to work the same day. To learn more about radiofrequency for veins, a safe, effective, and convenient treatment for spider veins and varicose veins, visit us on the web at www.veintreatmentclinic.com. I'm Dr. Caroline Novak, and we look forward to taking care of you.